Hey, it's Nate from FreeFly. Today I'm going to be talking about some improvements we've made to the LR1 payload, as well as the two modules that we've released. We just started shipping our laser rangefinder module and our thermal module. Both of these are user installable in about two minutes, um, and you can run one or both of them on the gimbal with any of the lenses that we support. And they add the functionality of distance sensor and a thermal camera to the LR1 payload. We've also made some improvements to the LR1 camera itself with an upcoming 1.7 uh, firmware release for Astro. We'll start with an overview of the thermal module, then work our way through the laser rangefinder, and then the updates that we've made to the LR1 payload. All right, so we've got the feed from the LR1 pulled up here on Pilot Pro. When you plug in the thermal module, you'll see this EOIR icon pop up here, and this is the uh, signal to let you know that you can switch to the thermal view. Uh, so for our thermal module, we're using a radiometric FLIR boson uh, 640 core, uh, we've been really happy with the performance of that. We're getting uh, really great detail out of it. So going through some of the settings that we've exposed here, we have um, the temperature output from the spot here in the upper left-hand corner. And as I tap around, you can see that this is, can update so you can get real-time temperatures on uh, whatever you're flying on. You can adjust the spot size here. So if you are you know need to get really precise temperature of an insulator or whatever else you're looking at, um, it's easy to do. We've exposed a bunch of different color palettes. Um, those are mappable to a button, so you can uh, cycle through those pretty easily. Uh, we've also incorporated, or we've also added 8x digital zoom. So with the buttons here, I can zoom in. Uh, we've also put the digital zoom on the right-hand rocker of Pilot Pro, so you can zoom in and out there as well, which is great. Um, we have both photo and video modes, so 640 by 512 uh, photos and video. So we have uh, JPEG and TIFFs are available. All of the imagery and video from the thermal module saves to the USB stick. Both the JPEGs and the TIFFs are geotagged with Astro's location. Um, by default, our contrast settings should work really well in most cases, but we have exposed a bunch of other custom settings if you need to mess around with that. Same thing with isotherms and radiometric settings. Those are all exposed here in the AMC app. Jumping over to the laser rangefinder, you can see that we've enabled the distance output here. So as I tilt the gimbal up and down, you can see this is updating. The laser rangefinder that we have in there is capable of doing up to 100 meters of distance. So when you take any images, both on the LR1 or the thermal module, the distance sensor data is saved in the metadata. Jumping over to the LR1 feed, we've made a number of improvements to LR1, and some of these are actually backwards compatible with A7R4, so those payloads will get the update as well. So we've added digital zoom, um, so similar to the boson, we have it on the rocker uh, as well as the buttons, so up to 4x digital zoom, which is really great for inspection. Um, we've also added the ability to do tap to focus. Um, so we have our autofocus settings here, uh, infinity as and autofocus, but then within autofocus, you can select small, medium, and large uh, spots. And then as you tap around, the autofocus will update to wherever you've tapped. Um, so in photo mode, it's based on when you take a photo. Uh, and then in video mode, the spot is continuous autofocus on the region that you've selected. Those are some of the improvements coming to Astro Firmware 1.7 uh, for the LR1 payload as well as an overview of the two modules that we're shipping. So definitely check those out. Uh, reach out to support at FreeFly Systems if you have any other questions. Thanks.